fashion poses is what they know, cause these are fashion models on the go. <laughs> Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into these Defa Lucy Fashion Girl dolls. Here we go. <laughs> So, Defa Lucy is here with a cute bunch of girls called The Fashion Girl. And does this doll line remind you of a certain Barbie line back in 2010? Hmm? Thought so. Yes, it's giving totally Barbie basics. And then 2011, Wave 2, the jeans collection. Yes, it's giving that. And uh, I gotta say, I'm here for it, really. Yeah, I love, love these girls. I love their jeans looks. Um, the only thing I have to say is that I really am missing the diversity here. Also, I think that's also really a bummer is that they all have poly hair. The hair all felt really soft at first, but as soon as I grabbed this girl, I could really immediately tell that this was polypropylene hair. And I do have my doubts about the braid girl here because then again, her hair does feel really soft and I'm not quite sure if she has polypropylene hair. So I'm gonna wanna say that this is actually nylon, yeah. Hmm. But okay, let's just go over them real quick. So here we have the first girl in the lineup and I do think that I'm the least fan of this face actually. It's a very round face and uh, really youthful but also the one that has the most of an empty glare in her eyes. But I'm loving her top that kind of like you know shiny shimmery fabric. Uh, I love the white pants and the black pump. Yeah. The look is a serve. It is a serve, right? And I love that her hair is kind of like very light peach, actually. So what kind of a blonde? I would call this like platinum peach or something. Yeah, it is a really beautiful color. It is polypropylene though, but it's a really beautiful color. And usually when they have like hairstyles like this, you can easily tell that the rooting probably is rooted after the hairstyle that they come in. So if you take this down, she'll probably have like a bald spot underneath. So yeah, I'm really afraid to dismantle that whole hairdo. <laughs> so the second girly here is Miss Girl Boss here with a bob, the power bob. <laughs> um, yeah, she is cute. She has these piercing blue eyes and I actually think I love this face the most because it has kind of like a soft smile. So there's some emotion in the face. So it's it's the least empty for me. Yeah. 
I love her look. I love the denim jacket. I love the denim skirt. The shirt is kind of random that says for harvest. Yeah. And not the craziest a fan of these kind of like chunky boots. But overall, loving, loving the denim look um, with that power bob <laughs> uh, for her hairstyle. Yeah. Okay. And then Miss Braid here. Yeah, I love to twist and twirl with that braid. <laughs> you know, when you see that, it, it's asking for it, you know. Uh, but I love her like one piece here and it's actually pretty interesting in the back. As you can see, it has this closing it and the top and at the bottom. So what it does, it actually creates a really weird bulkiness here in the sides, as you can see. So you really have to try to, you know, really make it really tight back here. But um, yeah, I don't know why they chose to do it like this because you can easily see that it's starting to bulk here on the sides, but okay. Other than that slight defect, I really do love this one piece. And it actually also looks pretty good on a made to move body. Yeah. Um, it has kind of like these bell bottoms, which is cute. And again, the hairstyle when it's styled like this and a high ponytail, I did this with one of the deluxe Defalusi dolls. Uh, who had like this high ponytail and you can see how not thickly it is you know uh, so that's why you definitely know that this is not evenly rooted in the middle so once you take this down um her hair will look awful so the braid is gonna stay definitely that's what i've learned from these high ponytailed defalusi girls <laughs> So let's try this real quickly on a made to move girl. Voila, look at how cute this looks on a made to move girly. Now I've put this on the uh, Barbie looks Lena doll with the blonde hair and um, it looks great. Great on that made to move body actually. Uh, yes, also the bulkiness is present here, <laughs> but uh, I think with some cute styling and when you put a jacket over it you're it's not going to notice that much so yeah i really love this fashion piece actually okay back to defa <laughs> ta-da so and her shoes are actually these white pumps yeah i think she is probably one of the cutest of this lineup yeah definitely <laughs> And last but not least is this pretty girl. I love her jeans a lot and um, her top as well. I just love the material they use for these tops. It's really cute. And it's like, it's really nicely made actually. Um, yeah, so the hair, she has some heavy, heavy polypropylene hair. It is like white platinum. It's gorge, but what are we going to do with this? Yeah. When I look at these four, I want to restyle them, but the challenge is pretty hard here because they already look like a pretty cohesive bunch of power models. You know, the hair options are very few because I can't take out that braid because then she'll have this enormous bald spot. So she forever needs a ponytail or a braid. The Bob girl, you know, what am, what am I going to do with a bob? <laughs> it's not going to change that much. And the polypropylene hair is just awful to work with. So yeah, it, I've got quite the challenge here. In terms of made to move body match, I think they're all going to be a match with the purple top made to move. Um, I actually do not have any purple top made to moves in my inventory here. Yes, you know, I have like a whole, you know, body donor box, but... Um, Unfortunately, my purple top girls are running out and I don't want to dismantle any other girls I have with a purple top made to move. So I think I'm going to leave them on their original bodies. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to let the process take over here and um, see where I'll end up with these girls. We're just going to make a quick stop at the salon and give these girls a fun new Barbie Nation 
look. Here we go. So let's head on over to the salon and have a closer look at these girlies. So they have full articulated bodies with articulation at the knees, at the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and at the neck, of course. And yes, this is some heavy polypropylene hair. She has a side parting, which is nice. And her rooting isn't all that thickly. So little Miss Peach here, although she has polypropylene hair, it does look really nice and shiny, actually. And I am going to go into the deep and get this baby out. Yes. Okay. This is what happens with polypropylene hair and when you put it in a certain hairstyle. The rooting got me surprised, actually. She's rooted pretty nicely. So that's giving some hope here. Also decided to take off the braid. For the sake of the review and discovering these girls, I had to do it. So her hair is really nice and also decided to take out the ponytail to see how the rooting situation is. Which, as expected, it's not as bad as I, would, as I thought it would be, but... Yeah, it's definitely a one hairstyle doll only, which is all the way up because otherwise you'll see bald spots. Then let's head over to the shampoo, conditioner and comb section. So I like to give them a nice little wash to get all of the product or factory product out, uh, condition their hair to make it smoother to work with and give them a quick comb through. Now with this polypropylene hair, you're pretty much, well, you're pretty much done easily. It, it doesn't need a whole lot of combing. It's just, I don't actually know why I'm doing this for these girls. <laughs> but as you can see with these polypropylene girls, yeah, it's going to be sketchy when I'm giving these girls a boil wash. I think the blonde one here will actually have the only one that has like a really nice finishing boil wash because... You'll probably not see like the dent of the rubber band in her hair anymore. Okay, let's start the magic. You know, I always love this moment so much. So dip it in just a few times and voila. Okay, that was pretty nice. Yeah, this one, this is a tough one. Yikes. <laughs> and here we have Miss Blondie, which looks oh, so satisfying. Okay, over to hairstyling. So what I want for this girl, she's giving me kind of like hippie fairy vibes. So I want to make a braid in the back and uh, make a tiny one in the back and braid it all the way through because you're going to want to wrap this around her head like so and then fasten it in the back um, to another small strand. So you can really secure this braid around her head, like so, as you can see. Um, yeah, and now for the curls, I want it to be a little bit more smoother, so I'm gonna try to straighten it. Now what I do is I use a straightener with heat setting. I place a little bit of hair mask to protect the hair and really just try to figure out with the heat setting what works best. I think I went all the way up to maybe 110 degrees with this one. It starts off at 80 degrees, so I always start at the lowest. And then I just try to heat it up a little bit more and always, always start at the back. This is where I did the left side. The rest, the right side is untreated. You can really see the difference here. and. It's, it's the result that I'm after. So we're good here. We're good. <laughs> so this is where I did all of the hair. And to me, it looks just the way I wanted it. It's giving me very fantasy. And I washed it again to get out all of the hair mask. And now let's just leave it to air dry. And continue on with our peach girl. Because that girl, yeah, that hair is a mess. This is exactly how I wanted it to be. Yeah. The peach girl. Look at this. Look at this situation here, guys. So the only way I'm able to solve this is also to straighten this with a straightener. Again, use hair mask to protect it and straighten this 
mess here. <laughs> and as you can see, it works actually pretty well. I was actually surprised because I was really afraid that this was going to damage the hair or maybe even burn the hair because, you know, the polypropylene is so synthetic as, you know, beep. But it actually, look how satisfying this went. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was really happy because now I get to create super cute hairstyles on her. And here it is all shiny and straight and I'm gonna go for these signature two half up ponytails for her and um yeah before we do that of course let's rinse it out condition it once again and go for that second boil wash because this girl deserves it that first boil wash was a hot mess <laughs> so warm up that water fill it up condition it and let's dip it in oh yes this is her deserved moment here. Oh, oh, the satisfying feeling. This was the old one. Oh my gosh. And back to how it is now. Let's compare them one more time for that ultimate satisfaction. Yes. <laughs> so nice, straight and smooth. Now let's go for that cute hairstyle. Um, the two have up ponytails because she is rooted in the middle. She has a middle parting. That's so nice. I was not expecting that. And here she is, Miss Cutie Pie. I really, I just, I'm obsessed with that peachy, peachy vibe that her hair has. And it looks so nice. Yay. I'm so happy with how she turned out. Okay, Miss Blonde Nylon here. Um, the boil wash did its thing, but you can still see kind of like the dent of the rubber band here. And I'm actually just going to give her a high up ponytail because look at this rooting. It's a mess. It's super balding. So yeah, we're not going to be, it's not going to be cute if I do something else. So I did manage to give her this cute strand up front, give her the high ponytail and we are good to go with her. Now let's head on over to the closet and give these girls some cute looks. <laughs>
Okay, I did not expect this outcome. <laughs> I was a bit skeptical at first when I started on these girls, but um, they went from fashion models to like full-on fictional characters, and they gave me vibes, yes. Like uh, Ms. Power Bob back there, she totally gave me like Moulin Rouge, uh, Chicago, Anna Williams from Tekken. Uh, if you know, you know. I mean, I love Anna Williams. Whenever I play Tekken, against anyone i would always always be anna williams and i love her to death so i picked up on those vibes and she totally turned into her in my opinion um miss totally cutie pastel back there she was giving me jojo siwa vibes <laughs> and um she's just quintessential barbie nation so she's just adorable with that shirt um the Sanrio Little Twin Stars t-shirt dress. Yeah, I know I have my hate for <laughs> t-shirt dresses is big, but I'll make an exception for this one. And they totally need to come with more Little Twin Stars or even Sanrio fashions. We need more, Mattel. We need more, definitely. Um, yeah, and so then we have Miss Carrie Bradshaw there. <laughs> she... It just read um, Sex in the City and just like that for me. Carrie Bradshaw all the way, you know, stylish, but with like this super extra uh, item, like the big pink bow. It's so, yeah. And the shoes, I mean, this look was all about the shoes. And the shoes are actually from the mini fashion series. Um, I think series three now. Yeah. And they also came with some very fabulous shoes and they fit on her super cute and here we have miss fairy core uh miss galadriel she is giving me all the fairy vibes you can think of lord of the rings <laughs> well maybe a bit too cute for lord of the rings but uh definitely more on the disney spectrum i think yeah but uh she for me has been but she, for me, is definitely the winner of all of these makeovers. I love this fairy queen to death. Yeah. She has the perfect hair for it. Uh, the perfect look. I loved her little story that she gave my mini-me. Some fairy wings at the end. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just so cute. It, it gave me the escape I need it. So of course, let me know which look was your favorite. Do you have a favorite out of these four? Did you get these fashion girl dolls? Or did you get one of these four? Did you get all four? <laughs> or are you just not a Defa Lucy lover? Uh, I just, I don't know. They surprise me every time. I start on them and I'm skeptical, but in the end, I always end up loving them. Yeah. I just can't help it. And I have to admit that these girls looked good right from the start. Yeah. I mean, it's just for the love of makeovers and restyling that they did these restyles, but did they really, really need it? Hmm. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> so that was it for today. Leave a like if you liked the video, and of course, a comment down in the comment section. And let's keep the conversation rolling about these ever so fabulous fashion girl Devaluzzi dolls and I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Okay so that's it for today guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified about any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates and until the next video big kisses from me and I love you all.